Line cleaning is vital for serving great quality beers and ciders. If product lines are not cleaned thoroughly and regularly, yeast, minerals and calcium can build up in lines leading to fobbing beer, which means wasted product for you. It can also result in off aromas or flavours which would lead to customers returning product, impacting the bottom line and the quality reputation of the outlet. To improve customer satisfaction and the likelihood of repeat purchases or repeat visits, lines should be kept scrupulously clean. Ideally, you will have a set day and time of the week that you will always clean your lines. Document when lines have been cleaned to ensure everyone is aware of line cleaning schedules. Stage one, prepping for cleaning. The first thing to do when cleaning lines is to switch the remote cooler off. This will prevent the coil freezing. Frozen coils can take five to six hours to defrost and you will not be able to pour beer during this time. Fill your dedicated cleaning bottle with fresh water. For maximum effectiveness, this should be warm, not hot, and no cleaning fluid should be added at this stage. Disconnect the keg couplers and attach to the cleaning sockets. Remember to switch the gas supply to the keg coupler off for each brand. When all the gas valves are off, you need to switch the cleaning pump on. Take a bucket and bleed all of the fob detectors or cellar boys of product. Note that the fob detector or cellar boy button must be in the up position during line cleaning so the float doesn't sink. If the button is down, it will result in the fob detector float sticking to the bottom of the chamber, which will interrupt the flow of liquid up to the tap. Now head up to the bar and pull product through and get water running through all of the taps. We are now ready to start cleaning the lines, so head down to the cellar. Stage two, adding the cleaning fluid. Firstly, make sure you're putting on personal protection equipment as you are dealing with hazardous chemicals. You should have good quality gauntlets and eye protection. Any splashes should be rinsed with clean water immediately. Measure the cleaning fluid into your cleaning bottle. The fluid we are using is one pint, 568 milliliters, per 50 litre container. We strongly recommend using a Molson Coors approved line cleaner. If unsure, follow the manufacturer guidelines or contact technical services for advice. Bleed the fob detectors or cellar boys into a bucket, ensuring the cleaning solution gets right to the top and around the float to prevent yeast buildup. It is advised to bleed this way throughout the line cleaning session. Stage three, pull the cleaning fluid through. Flush every single tap through with line cleaning fluid. Note that line cleaning fluids should only be kept in the line for 30 to 40 minutes. Longer than this can mean that the fluid starts to corrode and contaminate the pipe. During this period, you should flush fresh fluid through the lines every 10 minutes. If your line holds three pints, you should draw off three pints of line cleaning fluid at the bar every 10 minutes. It would be good practice to open and close the product tap on off every two seconds for at least one set of pull throughs. This is called agitation and helps shunt any larger buildup spots of yeast and calcium. Any yeast and calcium deposits that have been there a while affect quality as above and are harder to remove if left in place. We call this beer stone. You should also take the chance to clean your keg couplers. For best results, they should be brushed clean in a bucket of dilute line cleaning fluid then rinsed with fresh water. Under no circumstances should couplers be left soaking in line cleaning fluid. This can contaminate the seal with chlorine. At the end of the line cleaning process, you should also clean the cleaning sockets as well. Stage four, flushing the lines. Tip any excess cleaning fluid down the drain and swill the cleaning bottle out with fresh water. Top the cleaning bottle up with enough water to flush the system through. Using the same process as before, bleed the fob detectors or cellar boys to get all of the cleaning fluid out and the fresh water in. Head back up to the bar with a bucket and flush each pouring line out. Once we have fresh water out, we are ready to put the product back on. Stage five, reconnect the lines. You must remember at this stage to switch the cleaning pump off. We then switch the cooler back on. Make sure the fob detector or cellar boys buttons are pulled down at this stage. We are now ready to put our keg couplers and our brands back on. Take the keg coupler off the wall and put back on the keg, remembering to turn the gas back on for that particular brand. If we forget to do this, brands will pour slowly to start with, but will eventually stop completely. 
Take a bucket and bleed each of the fob detectors to remove the water and replace with product, remembering to get all the air out. If we don't get all of the air out, the floats will drop. Stage six, product pull through. Repeat the process back at the bar to flush the water out until the product runs through. You only need to pour through a pint of product and the change will be complete. Follow these procedures once every seven days and you'll have a great pint every time.